Hello everyone, I'm Angelo. I've been homeless in Northern Virginia for eh, a little over seven weeks now, or about seven weeks. It's Christmas Day, and I'm on the Shenandoah Mountains right after the government shut down. I uh, took a pretty decent sized dump this morning in my motel, had the con continental breakfast, and uh, it's amazing how quiet it is out here. One car coming around now. One car pulling up next to me. Wow. And it actually snowed a tiny bit here. There's a few, like, little patches of snow. You can see, oh, like, nothing. I'm surprised the person even pulled up next to me. Pass Mountain Loop. Oh, and I'm driving away. I guess they weren't interested in seeing what was here. Um, some of the, like, the, the park is closed. You can still drive through. Like, they weren't collecting tolls. It was open. But um, you can't, uh, like, go to the campgrounds, I guess, which I wasn't really interested in going to that. The air is ice cold here. There you see a tiny bit of snow. It is weird how quiet, and last night I was here, oh, it was so eerie, hearing the, the wind coming through the window of my car, and it being pitch black, and you could see the lights in the valley below there, which at night, it looks more like a city. Now you see it, it looks more rural. Um, I don't know exactly what that, I mean, we're in the Loray area, I guess. Tiny bit of snow, man, it is ice cold. The temperature change is amazing. I'm not gonna. It's weird. I don't want to think like I'm gonna get separated my, by from my car by some like wild deer or something. Ooh, my hands are getting cold. It's wild how, like, first of all, I'm coming out here on my credit card. It's all financed by that. I can not really afford it. But since I'm homeless, I thought I'll do it. I was even scared to drive out for every reason. I'm thinking I might get in an accident. The roads will be bad. Uh, it's going to be too expensive. People are going to hassle me. The police will hassle me. But then I thought, no, just do it. That's even more reason to do it if I'm afraid. Just push myself to do it. Because I've thought about doing this for years. It's been a while since I've been out here. Man, this is amazing. There is nothing like this uh, closer to D.C. I mean, you can go in fields. Yeah, they have great falls. But there's always uh, yuppies hiking there. And... Uh, there's rapids and everything and, you know, creeks and rivers or whatever. This is just, look, just dead silent. Hello? Interesting. I don't want to yell too loud. I don't want to wake anybody up. <laughs> I'm not going to go that far, even though it looks really cool out here. Whoa. Okay, don't drop my phone. Holding up with two hands, and I'm kind of crouched down. I do not want to fall that way. All right, that's that's far enough. I'm going to go back. I don't like being this close to the edge of anything this steep. This is really cool, just being out here. The good thing about going on Christmas, no traffic. The bad thing is almost everything's going to be closed. I'm like, oh crap, where am I going to go if I just want to like go to a town nearby? Maybe Harrisonburg, maybe Front Royal. Although I've been to Front Royal before, I think. Yeah, Front Royal is... No, 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 wait. I'm thinking of uh, really more like Manassas somewhere out there. I don't think I went quite this far. No, actually, I think I did. I smoked weed for the first time in Front Royal. Not that I think children should do drugs. But so I've been there, and it's not going to be much open. So I'm debating whether I should just go to um, check out Harrisonburg. And there's really not a whole lot I want to do, and it's not like I have much money. Being homeless is still expensive. Those are my car. I didn't even want anyone to contact me. And I got two text messages saying Merry Christmas. I was like, ah, oh, just leave me the fuck alone. I wanted to be alone. This is my fantasy. 
Nobody texts me. Nobody calls me. Nobody emails me. It used to be to be rich, famous, have women love me. Now, now I'm lazy. Now I just want everyone to leave me alone. I'm only like half joking. I wouldn't want to live out here. That's for sure. I'd be bored out of my mind. And this wilderness creeps me out at night. But it's an awesome view. Maybe I'll stop at one more overlook. I'm not sure how much there's really to see in mountains like this. And then I'll uh, go to town somewhere and see if there's any town I can even go to and just sit down and eat in. Spent so much money on this trip already, but... Oh, and I slept terribly. I was so restless. That was part of it. And I, I was going to try and turn the image around on my camera, but I can't. And uh, I slept in a bed for the first time since I went homeless. The only other place I've slept on besides my car are couches. I could not fall asleep for hours. I fell asleep like two or three hours, and that's it. I went, had breakfast, took a dump, went back to my room. Still couldn't fall asleep for like two hours, so... I was better off just getting the room to shower, but then just sleeping in my car with the sleeping bag. It was, it was so uncomfortable. I, I hate sleeping in beds. I hate beds the flat surface. I am now uh, addicted to the sort of, you know, the incline of the car seat laid back. Look at those clouds and fog. And then, can I zoom in? Yeah. Pretty incredible view. So, I'm going to figure out what my uh, course is now and shoot some more. Maybe I'll do a live stream later. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Subscribe, leave a comment, like, bye.